Fame comes at a price, a hefty one at that. You see, being in the spotlight leaves little room for privacy. And then there is the paparazzi culture, where cameras are waiting for you just about everywhere you go. What the celebrities are eating, what they are drinking, where they are going, with whom they are spotted, just about everything becomes fodder for a tabloid, a blog, a YouTube video, sometimes garnering millions of views, basically profiting from a public figure's personal life. But what happens if a mere child in her tender years finds herself in this situation? 11-year-old Aradhya Bachchan, the granddaughter of Indian megastar Amitabh Bachchan, has fallen victim to fake news on YouTube. As many as nine YouTube channels were spreading misinformation about the 11-year-old. These were the ones that came under scrutiny. The actual number could be higher. You see, it doesn't take much to run a YouTube channel these days and share content about celebrities. The YouTube entities in this case were spreading rumors about Aradhya's health. They claimed that she was critically ill. Some said that she had trouble walking. Some went as far as to say that she was no more. On top of that, they claimed she was distressed. Can you believe that? And all this for what? To attract eyeballs and gain viewership? These are the kind of videos that are profusely shared, forwarded countless times. They are tweeted, retweeted. After all, everyone wants to know what Abhishek and Ashwarya Bachchan's daughter is up to. But does that mean her privacy is a joke? Whether it's a common person's child or a celebrity's child, don't all children preserve to be treated with respect? their privacy safeguarded, shouldn't their personal information be handled safely and responsibly? The matter is being heard in the Delhi High Court. And taking a strong view, the court has said that spreading misinformation about a child, that too, about their physical and mental health, is completely intolerable in law. In fact, it has ordered Google to take down the videos on YouTube as well as from other websites. The responsible YouTube entities have been asked to be immediately delisted and deactivated if any such videos are uploaded in the future. Aradhya can notify the court and they will be taken down. The tech giant has landed in hot water. Questions are being raised about the responsibility when it comes to screening the content. The court has questioned Google's policy over such sensitive matters. Justice C. Hari Shankar, who is taking care of the case, said, and I'm quoting, there is misle misleading information which is defamatory, and then there is misleading information which says that someone is dead. YouTube does not run for charity. It is a profit-making platform. If you are making money out of what you are doing, you have a social responsibility. The court has directed Google to disclose its policy, its compliance with the IT rules 2021 coming under question. The court has also directed the tech giant to provide details of the infringers. It has asked for their contact numbers and their email IDs. You see, this is the first of its kind court ruling. It is a landmark judgment on three counts. First off, it upholds a child's privacy Secondly, the court mentioned that all children, whether a celebrity's child or a common person's child, they should be treated with respect. And lastly, YouTube and Google should have a zero tolerance against fake news in the same way as child pornography. Celeb kids have always been on the radar of trolls. Fake news is peddled about them without any restriction. Social media handles take zero responsibility to verify the facts. The Bachchan family did not take this lightly, and neither did the court. And it will be taking up the case again on the 13th of July.
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.